So guys, hello and welcome to a new monthly series um, called Baz's Review, where Barry reviews his, well, our month, and he has a little quiz just to see how far he's been concentrating on the blues. Um, so first topic tonight, Barry, will be your player of the month. Yeah, that's fine. Um, there's two players that I've been watching closely. Obviously, not both of them watch, so they, I, I pick up the text commentary and, and picking up the match reports and, and, and the chatter from everyone else. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would say uh, Matt Payne, and obviously, being Scottish, I'll say it differently. It's called so the name is Josh Urquhart. Yeah. Uck, it's yeah. Urquhart in Scotland. But uh, <laughs> yeah, those two, um, they've, they've been playing really well in over the last six to eight weeks. Um, Joshua as well, as well um, I followed him quite closely being a uh, I down I played football I was a defender yeah. so um, I appreciate the work the defence does you know quite a lot and he's been very very quietly going about his business all season mm. um, seems, seems a really nice guy as well um, so that, that, that for, for the month you know for the past month I would say that the defence has been doing really well as well quite a lot of clean sheets um, mm. obviously the, the, you know the Burgess Hill game um, was 4-3 but yeah. Um, you know, so yeah, no, that I would, I would go with, go with those two, and uh, in my opinion, well deserved as well. But the whole team's been doing well, of course, as well. So it's always hard. And then your goal of the month. Goal of the month. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's hard. It's quite, quite, a, quite, quite a few. Um, I probably I would say it was uh, Louis' goal again. Stains? Yeah. Would it be Stains? Uh, I think so, yeah. That one, yeah. Yeah, he scored. It was quite a, quite a good goal. Uh, yeah. If I remember it correctly. Yeah. Mm. I just. There's been so many games and so much things going on. It's hard to keep up. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, it's now time for your quiz, talking about keeping up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Um. So. Which team did we beat four 0 this month? A Leaston, B Staines, C Haven't and Waterlooville. Oh, uh, Leaston. That was a good game. Correct. <clears throat> so that's one out of three so far. <laughs> uh, is, uh, I, I watched that one. Interesting because uh, obviously Glenn, you went to sign that striker, didn't he? From Leaston, what's his name? Matt, Matt Blake. Blake. Yeah. He was playing. He was playing. I couldn't believe he was playing at back, wasn't he? Pretty sure he was playing at defence. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm wrong, but. Um, <laughs> Never even heard his name in the commentary, so it's kind of been that good. <laughs> Which minute did Sam Deere and score against Haven? A 89th, B 90, C 91, D 92. I'm probably going to get it wrong, but 92. No, it was 90. Ah, close enough. <laughs> Just two minutes off. <laughs> Who did Matt Payne score his first BTFC goal against? A. Burgess Hill, B. Leaston. Oh, uh, A. Burgess Hill, it's quite a good goal as well. Correct. Quite an important goal as well. So two out of three, not bad, Barry. Just not bad, yeah. So we'll be going through these questions uh, quite quickly tonight. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Um, but we're now going to go a bit off topic um, from Bellerickey, but... Also, back onto him with this. It's the January transfer window. Uh -huh. Barry, uh, thoughts on what's going to happen in the Premier League with this transfer window? Uh, the Premier League? Oh, the usual madness. <laughs> usual Sky, Sky, Sky Sports news and um, my countryman Jim White uh, <laughs> acting like a complete idiot. I'd like to, on, on behalf of my country of Scotland, I'd like to apologise for him. Uh, <laughs> I, I honestly can't stand that man. I really can't. There used to be a TV program in Scotland called Scots where we hated him up here, so we were glad when the guy took him. Yeah. Um, but in terms of the, the transfer, it's just going to be uh, too much money will be spent. Teams will panic. There'll be there'll, there'll be a few signings in the next seven to ten days. Then nothing will happen. It'll be paper, yeah. social media, you know, all that sort of speculation. Nothing will happen because mm. quite a few games happening. Um, and then come the 
last 10 days when Sky Sports start building it up to something that's really shouldn't be. Yeah. Um, yeah. They'll have all the teams panicking, all the teams. Oh, they'll be the odd. Uh, there'll be the odd team like Chelsea and Liverpool might or oh, Liverpool just spent huge haven't they you know Chelsea yeah. might well, sign somebody Man United they're, they're getting a bit desperate so they may be signed there'll, there'll, there'll be some teams that won't spend any money at all I'll be, a, I'll be amazed if Spurs sign anyone yeah. with Arsenal because they don't like spending money <laughs> um, uh, I know you the West Ham I know obviously you're, they're close to you yeah. It says David Moyes is his first transfer window, but he's only there till the end of the season. Mm. They'll probably take a few guys in alone. It'll, it'll be busy. It's a World the... Cup here. It's a sorry, it's a World Cup year as well now, isn't it? Now we're in twenty eighteen, mm. so there'll be a, there'll be a few players that haven't been playing that might move about in loan deals mm. so they can get some minutes under their belt to get in the World Cup. So it'll it it'll be interesting. It will be. Um, and being where I am, there'll be nothing happening in Scotland. No money, so. The only <laughs> thing that happened in Scotland is um, Celtic will probably sell. Most of them, yeah. Um, I watched him in the old firm game on mm. Saturday. He looked like a player that didn't want to be there. No, nah, it looks like more and more. Now nah, I think he cares. I think he just looks like a player who knows he's going. Yeah. Um, I'll be honest. I thought he was terrible. Abs- I mean, mm. he was actually trying. He was just. He was just very poor. Mm. Um. So if Celtic can get twenty million for him, then they should bite their hands off, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, but it'll be on the whole, it'll be very, very, it'll be you know. I think the speculation and the and all the chatter online is more fun than the, than anything else. Yeah. As you get in the knickers and that's just... Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, sorry, sorry for going off topic, but back to David Moyes. Obviously, as you said, West Ham yeah. are quite close to me. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> David Moyes. He's got what, from my understanding, he's got a contract extension. So, do you uh-huh. think uh, Moyes will pressure the board on spend uh, on spending that money because he's going to want to impress if there is that contract extension? Um, yes, and no, really. Uh, you, we're not really behind the closed doors there, but the club. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, no, you're 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 close. You don't know this club better than I will, but yeah. knowing what I know about from the outside looking in, of Sullivan and Gold. There will be some transfer movement, won't there? He's yeah. Sullivan, especially Sullivan, especially loves the signing, does he? So, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, it'll be a bit off. I mean, it'll be, it'll be, I'll be surprised if uh, if, uh, if um, Moyes didn't sign somebody he'd managed before. Yeah. Let's put it that way, because uh, he's that kind of guy. Um, but I saw that they've taken back Reece Oxford as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that's just to have a look at him before the mm. sell, is it? So, but give him a chance. Mm. You know. He, he did it with Man United. He, he, you know, he had that love for Yanis. I did he? So, yeah. you know, he might have been really thoughts, but just don't know. Just don't know. I'm going to throw a question. You obviously, you've asked me about the Hammers. What about Billy Ricky? Do you think they'll sign anyone this month? <laughs> um, nice if you asked me a week ago, obviously mm-hmm. we probably thought Pennant would be going. Mm-hmm. Then I would expect another central midfielder to come in because we are quite short there. Yeah. With O'Hara being injured quite regularly, but now yeah. I think if it's if we sign someone, we'll uh, we'll be happy with it. However, if we don't, we won't really care because we've got a strong enough squad. With yeah. the, if we win all the games in hand, we're fifteen points clear, and going on to the summer, we'll strengthen it with one or two players. But we've beat yeah. most of the Conference South teams, so there's no need for us to pressure ourselves in buying more players. In fact, I think it will be more of a case of us putting contract extensions on the players we've got. Yeah. I, I, do, I do agree with you. I would have said if Penn and went, it would have been a centre with the other. I mean, you go and watch the games. I only see text yeah. going saying, you know, get to know players from other, from, you know, um, from other clubs there that way. Yeah. I know there's a guy focused on a striker. It was at Dagenham Red, which he's, he seems to be scoring a few goals. Yusuf, I think his name is. But as a striker, um, I mean... That guy's still known at least, and is he? He's a, is he a centre midfielder, what's his name? Lawrence, Spider Lawrence. He's a winger or a centre midfielder. Yeah, he's a central midfielder. You know, but um, you just don't know, do you? I mean, I saw they, um, mm. they disbanded the under 23s. So, yeah. I mean, there might, there's not any young players going about that you could give a chance to either, I suppose. Mm. Um, but you just, you, just, you just don't know. Sorry, I've taken over your, um, your podcast, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I'm used to things being taken over. You know, we've got yeah, Mark yeah. Baker on it now. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, I know. Great friend as well, Mark. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> but um, anyway, back to the January transfer window. Um, this is actually quite a topic. A topic that's going to be interesting. Something where this could quite um, cause quite a bit of a chat. Actually, should there be a transfer window system implemented into the Bostic League? That's going to be quite tough for you. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, it's a Bellericke five-a-side team of the year, so throughout the whole of 2017. Um, so, mm-hmm. obviously, pick it. <laughs> uh, I think goals, it's pretty easy, isn't it? Um, yeah. Um, it'd be Jules, Alan Julian, because um, he's, he's just Mr. Consistent, isn't he? Yeah. Um, I mean... I know Jack Giddens has had the odd game and he's he's he's, he's an excellent backup and I, I know from before Glenn took over he was the captain, wasn't he? Yeah. You know, he was well yeah. thought of in player of the year, so um mm-hmm. I feel sorry for him in a, in, in a sense, but I mean that that's not what the conversation's about of course. But yeah, so Alan Julian. Mm-hmm. Um five aside completely different. We've all played five aside. Mm-hmm. I mean you could be the best five aside player in the world, but if he put you in a eleven aside team, you could be absolutely horrific. Yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't necessarily pick your best player from an 11 aside team to a 5 aside team, but um, in terms of the way they use the football and manipulate the football, I would say Sammy Deeden, you'd have to have him in a 5 aside team because he can, he can pass the football. Yeah. Um, um, I'd put in, I'd put in um, Josh Urquhart as well because mm. he, he, can, he, he, he doesn't have a brain about him. He's, he's fit. And, and he can move about because in five a side I'm not saying that the team's not fit because obviously they are yeah. you know, they wouldn't be playing if they weren't but you're, you're constantly moving in a five a side game so yeah. that's the out of five um, you'd put um, you'd put um, this has got to be a oh let's see I'd put in um, I'd put in Jake and Theo as well because Jake will obviously he's a, he's a proper poacher is he but he can score all sorts of goals as well yeah. And he's set in the field as well, just for his, just for his height. It's yeah. very good for the ball. It's, flick-ons. It's very, hmm? Sort of like yeah. a flick on Robinson. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. The whole squad's good. You could, you could pick, ten, you know, five or six or seven, five or six teams. In the yeah. But, um, that's off the top of my head anyway, you mm-hmm. know. Um, obviously, I'm a big fan of Billy Bricknell. But, you know, you know he'd, he'd be, you know... Yeah. He wouldn't be that type of player, would he, in a five-a-side team for me? Oh, uh, no, not a, uh, you know, he would, I would pick him. 
Matt Cricket, then he did, you know, I'm a big fan of his, but yeah. I'm just having to kick it off the top of my head, really. That was, the, that was the first five that came to my head. So. Billy's one of them, like you just said, he'll be fantastic in an 11 a side team, as he always is, oh, always yeah. has been for us. But you put him in a five a side team, you kind of wonder to yourself, would he be as good? Because in five a side, oh, you don't get as many rebounds. Uh, it depends with the who you're playing against. Yeah. They're all fit. Yeah. Very, you know, they're, they're, you wouldn't play at that level of football if you didn't have any. Yeah. Um, Billy's one of them that have, has actually improved his fitness this season. Oh, huge. Uh, yeah, as, as you know, we swore about him, I'm a huge fan of his, even though I've never seen him play in a flesh. Yeah. Um, you know, I've been aware of his career. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah here we go. And then, well, last question of the night. We've got qu- this, well, through this quite nicely tonight. Mm-hmm. Your Bella Ricky player of 2017. 2017? Yeah. Oh, well. Obviously, the fans said Joe Ellu, but... Yeah. Oh, I mean, he's a, he's a gent, and I was, I was very sad to see him go. Yeah. Uh, he's doing very well at Braintree, isn't he? Yeah, from mm. what I can see. Uh, he's, he's hit the drums in there. Um, but um, I'm going to go against the fans here, and um, purely for the impact that they've had mm. and, and what they're doing, I would have to say Jake Robinson, just the amount of goals he scored. Well, yeah. Um, uh, I'm a huge, I keep saying that, I, I love Billy Crick's I do. I love yeah. it. I mean, just even to that, it's you're just like him. Mm-hmm. Um, and, um, but he obviously has been injured quite a bit recently, hasn't he? So, yeah. uh, so I'd probably be saying him. If mm. he been, you know, if he'd be playing continuously with Jake Robinson's just, he's come down from a higher division. Mm-hmm. They paid, Glenn paid like, a lot of money at club records for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, the, the, you can see the class there, you know, and, and one one thing I like, um, and I was very sorry to to hear about that, that uh, fan Nigel's past, and obviously it's hard for me to comment on that because I'm pretty new to the club, but yeah. what I thought was really telling and really good is that, you know, Jake scored that goal, he didn't have to, you know, the, the picture that um, Nicky took of, um, of Jake, you know, pointing to the armband, yeah. you know, the, I thought that was really poignant, I mean, it doesn't matter what level of football you're at. I mean, it just, you know, I just thought it was really, really classy. And it just shows, it just shows that he's taken the club to heart, that he cares. Yeah. You know, he's not just there to earn whatever he's earning. Yeah. You know, loves the, he loves, he loves, he loves the club, and his interaction with the fans is good as well. Because yesterday, you know, yeah, got um, you got all you guys travelling to Tombridge, mm. and. He's interacting with fans. So people, are, I can't remember who asked him. Somebody asked him what, what the pitch was like. Yeah. And whether it's rubbish. He didn't have to do that. Now I know all the players do it. Yeah. A lot of the play, a lot of the players respond to me. Mm. You know, so and you and all, and so mm. I think. But I just think, I just think that he's, he's you know, he's um, he's just just his impact in 2017 is something he's signed. Mm-hmm. But I think you could say a lot of players des- are deserving of it. Everyone's mm. got different opinions. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. As I say, I mean. Billy's got a lot of goals towards the end of last season. He got his hat trick in the, the League Cup final, didn't he? Mm-hmm. So, and when he comes back, he's got to have the bit between his teeth yeah. and come as well. They're all going I think he's back now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and, 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 but it's not just up front air back as well. I spoke about, you know, Joshua. Yeah. And he signed the new, the new captain, Dean Inman. He, he, looked a great, he looks a great player. I mean, he's playing in the National League Premier, wasn't he? So, I mean, and he, he steps out. And then you've got people like Rob Swain, who hasn't been playing lately. Yeah. The squad, the squad is... Fantastic. It is. It is. And you said it earlier, they've been beat, beating national, you know, you know, national South teams. You know? I, that, mm-hmm. That's the level the club wants to be at next season. So, yeah. beating them now, you know, I think I heard, mm-hmm. I don't know if it was Glenn or somebody else said it recently, like, I think it was an interview, I can't remember what to see this. Maybe even, I don't know who it was, I read an interview anyway from someone in the club and he said, that's the, le- you know, that's, you know, that, that's the level that I, the, the team's at now, you know? Yeah. They are operating at that level in terms of the squad, mm-hmm. you know? Um, but also, everyone in the league just now, obviously, it's it, it's like a cut final for them, so mm-hmm. they're all racing their games. It's going to be a lot of exciting games before the end of the season. That's yeah. for sure. A lot of them. I read a tweet. Today or yesterday, I can't remember. Every day is a blur just now. It's time, you know. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I'll get the people playing. I think it was actually Mark who wrote it. Yeah. Playing. Good. Saturday. 
for a long time, and that that will happen come six to eight weeks. Mm-hmm. And you, you spoke about the squad earlier about how strong uh, that's where you're. That's what you're. You know, that's how you'll you'll see how strong the squad is. You'll see it in the flesh mm-hmm. um, more than I will. Although you know, so, although I will be coming down this season, I know I will be. Um, but you'll you'll see that light in the flesh, and, and you'll see it. And it doesn't. It, and, and you know, there's been a few one nil games recently, hasn't there? One nil, yeah. one nil. Uh, and uh, I mean, Harry, we have said it. I tell you, that's what wins you titles. That's what gets you promotions. Mm-hmm. You know, four or five nils are great. They're good to watch, but it's mm-hmm. when it's when you win. It's when you win um, these games, these tight games, especially the last minute winners as well. Mm-hmm. You know. You know. So yeah. Um, and lastly, Barry, um, obviously my fan of you, you've just talked about Nigel Harris. Mm-hmm. Um, Jake touching the arm, and I just want to let Jake, Jake know if he's watching, that meant a lot. Because at the time I was, you know, hurting, I was very close to Nigel, as yeah. a lot of fans were, and, you know, him doing that meant a lot to us. As, you yeah. know, friends of Nigel, and it did show the respect, as you said. And that's something great about the club right now, is players do have respect for fans. Oh, yeah. 100%. However, um, I'm going to ask you, 